This is part three of the video. Reviewing South Gloucestershire Council's core strategy. With regard to Thornbury. And option six in particular. These are the six option areas with one, two and three along Morton Way in the east, four and five very close to the High Street in the west and six over in the northwest. I have converted the council's marking system into values with every positive symbol scoring plus one, every neutral symbol scoring zero and every negative symbol scoring minus one. I will point out the council's bias in favour of option six as we go along. Objective 5 is about environmental quality. This is where some better quality research seems to have been carried out, but with limitations. With AIM 5.1, someone was not paying attention whilst proofreading, so the commentary for option 2 is identical to that of option 1. Even more amusing is the suggestion that option 4 should be left untouched because someone saw some shell ducks near Monday Plainfields a decade ago. It is poor research whereby an appraisal report on new housing development can only suppose that some field ponds might still be in existence. and yet be unaware of the medieval fish ponds. There's always Google Earth for those afraid to leave their desks. With AIM 5.2, notice here how an area not in agricultural use, option 4, scores plus 1, whilst options 1, 2 and 3, being farmland, score minus 1. However, option 6, also farmland, scores plus 1. Well that makes sense, but only if you're biased. AIM 5.3 contains more bias, this time about landscapes, with concerns about Thornbury Castle actually being more applicable to option 6 than option 5, as the appraisal report shows it. With AIM 5.4 about protecting existing ways of life, notice how the council claims that it is too early to appraise the first four options. So when would the time ever be right then? They each score zero. Suddenly, it can appraise option five with reference to the castle and parish church which are more pertinent to option 6. Note how, as with AIM 2.5 previously, 
historical buildings are being confused with traditional human activity. Option 5 scores minus 1. Option 6, though having similar stated observations to option 5, inexplicably gets a higher value. With AIM 5.5, the three Morton Way options score plus 1 because they have no historical significance. However, historically important option 6 also scores plus 1. With AIM 5.6, options 4 and 5 have the same narrative, but get different scores. Probably lazy copying and poor proofreading again. Option 6, with the greatest flood risk, should get the lowest score. It doesn't, of course. Objective 6 is about use of resources. Very little appraisal was done. It was too early, apparently. With AIM 6.1, reference is simply made to distance again, but only where it suits the council. So, more distant options 1, 2 and 3 can be appraised whilst near to centre options 4 and 5 cannot be appraised. AIM 6.5 sees more reliance on distance, with far options 1, 2 and 3 scoring minus 2. Close to High Street, options 4 and 5 score plus 1. But option 6, much further away, also scores plus 1. After reviewing objectives 5 and 6, I calculate that option 6 has been overstated by a further whopping 13 points, valuing the total extent of the bias in the appraisal report towards option 6 at an enormous 31 points. If option 6 had been fairly appraised, it would be trailing in third place well behind options 4 and 5, and only just ahead of option 1. But you should see all this for yourselves. This is the URL for the Council's Appraisal Report. It's also in the YouTube description.
And here is the blog site of the Green Campaign, in which I am not personally involved.